faith and trust in God's plan. When I was first diagnosed with cancer, my faith was shaken in ways I never could have imagined. Questions swirled through my mind. Why me? Why now? It's natural to ask these things when faced with a life-threatening illness. Cancer has a way of making us confront the fragility of our existence, and in that confrontation, our faith can either crumble or be strengthened. For me, it became a journey toward trusting in God's plan, even when I couldn't fully understand it. At the outset, it felt like my life had taken an abrupt turn I wasn't prepared for. Like most people, I had plans for the future, things I wanted to accomplish, moments I was looking forward to. Then cancer arrived, and suddenly those plans seemed uncertain. The future I had imagined now felt distant and blurry, replaced by doctor's visits, treatments, and a very real sense of vulnerability. It was in this moment of uncertainty that I had to lean on something greater than myself. Faith, I learned, wasn't about expecting life to be easy or free of hardship. It wasn't about believing that I would be spared from pain. Instead, faith meant trusting that, even in the darkest of times, God had a plan for me, a purpose that was beyond my immediate understanding. It was a realization that even in suffering, there is meaning, and even in moments of despair, there is hope. The early stages of my diagnosis were marked by fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of what the future might hold. Fear of how my life was about to change. But as I began to face each step of the journey, diagnosis, treatment, surgery, I found myself turning more and more to my faith. I realized that I couldn't control the outcome but I could control where I placed my trust. And I chose to trust in God's plan, even when I didn't fully understand it. One of the most profound lessons I've learned through this experience is that faith isn't about having all the answers. It's about believing in something greater than yourself, even when the path ahead is unclear. It's about surrendering to the idea that there is a plan, even when life feels chaotic and unpredictable. In moments of doubt, when the fear seemed overwhelming, I would remind myself of the simple truth that God has always been with me, and that He would not abandon me in my time of need. Trusting in God's plan doesn't mean passively accepting whatever happens. It's not about resigning yourself to fate or giving up hope. Instead, it's about actively choosing to have faith, even when the road is hard. It's about believing that there is a greater purpose to your struggles and that, in time, that purpose will become clear. There were many moments along my journey when I questioned what that purpose might be. When I was weak from chemotherapy or in pain from surgery, it was difficult to see the bigger picture. But slowly, over time, I began to see glimpses of it. I began to realize that my struggle with cancer was reshaping my life in ways I hadn't anticipated. It was making me stronger, more compassionate, more grateful for the time I had with loved ones. It was deepening my faith, teaching me to trust in God's plan even when I couldn't see the outcome. My faith became a source of strength during the hardest moments of my battle. When I felt overwhelmed, I would pray for guidance and peace. When I felt weak, I would pray for the strength to keep going. And in those moments of prayer, I found solace. I found the courage to face each day, knowing that I wasn't alone, that I was being carried by something greater than myself. Faith also gave me a sense of peace in the face of uncertainty. Cancer is unpredictable. No one can say for sure what the outcome will be. But by placing my trust in God's plan, I was able to let go of some of that fear. I stopped worrying so much about what might happen and focused instead on what I could do with the time I had been given. I began to live more fully in the present, trusting that whatever the future held, it was part of a greater plan. In many ways, my journey with cancer has been a journey of surrender, surrendering my desire for control, surrendering my fear of the unknown, and surrendering my doubts to faith. 
It hasn't always been easy, but it has been transformative. Through this process, I have learned to trust in God's plan more deeply than ever before. I have learned to accept that life will bring challenges, but that through those challenges, we are shaped into the people we are meant to become. Cancer taught me that life is fragile, but it also taught me that faith is strong. It has shown me that even in the most difficult times, there is hope. Even in suffering, there is meaning. And even when the road ahead is uncertain, we are never alone. God is with us, guiding us, carrying us through the darkest moments, and leading us toward the light. As I continue my journey, I hold on to that faith. I know that there will be more challenges ahead, but I also know that I have the strength to face them. Not because of my own abilities, but because of the trust I have in God's plan. That trust has carried me through the hardest days, and it will continue to carry me forward, no matter what lies ahead. Faith, I have come to realize, is not the absence of fear, it is the presence of trust. Trust that there is a purpose to our lives, even when we cannot see it. Trust that we are never truly alone. And trust that, no matter what happens, God has a plan for each of us, and that plan is good. The background music is from Serene Music, Superb Nature. You can find it at my YouTube channel. My name is Weeping Kai. Thanks for watching.